Hey, my iPad don't have a GPS. Let's see if this one works. Hey, welcome to Patty G DIY. I use my iPad for lots of things, uh, except for ways in my car, because this version, the Wi-Fi only version of the iPads, don't have a built-in GPS. But, good thing they make these. This product is the Garmin Glow. It's probably called the Glow because it uses the Russian GLONASS uh, satellite network, which is similar to our GPS satellite network, but it uses this GLONASS system in addition to the GPS system. So this has the potential to be way more accurate when it uses both systems. Now what I've been able to find out is, this is from uh, bbomb.com. Uh, let's see, give you some details. GLONASS was developed in Russia originally, started by the Soviet Union in 1976. It has a network of 24 satellites. The uh, GPS system has a total of 31 satellites. Now, there may be more of the GLONASS systems from the old uh, uh, Cold War days. Uh, there may be more of these satellites, but there are at least 24 of them. The orbital height of the GLONASS is uh, 21,150 uh, kilometers, and the GPS system is at 19,130 kilometers. Accuracy is 5 to 10 meters on the GLONASS system, and 3.5 to 7.8 meters on the GPS system. Apparently the GLONASS system works if you're in higher latitudes. <clears throat> Here's a globe, longitude, latitude. So if you're up here, um, apparently the uh, GLONASS system works better, which makes sense. Since most of Russia and uh, so the old Soviet Union uh, which was the era in which these things were, were first uh, put up, is at higher latitude. So it only makes sense they'd have more coverage. What does, that, what does all that mean to us? It means if your iPad does not have a GPS built in, and you get this, it's like having two GPSs because this uses both systems. Now, depending upon your view of the horizon, you could have anywhere from uh, six to a dozen satellites now. Um, and about that half that on just one system. Instead of being accurate to within eight to 12 feet, now it's accurate to six feet. I mean, that's, that's not a whole lot, is it? <laughs> when you think about it. Uh, but I thought it was cool. So I bought this thing, amazon.com, 4.0 stars. So, Let's open it up, see what's going on. All right, let's dig in. I was really excited to uh, get this thing in the mail. And, um, <coughs> oh, there it is. Hey, I found it, I found it. Let's start off with the easy stuff. Owner's manual, many languages. Looks like about six pages in English. Twelve volt DC to a oh an old school USB connector. That's fine as long as it gets power. A USB cable. All right. What else we got? We have. A battery. Okay. <laughs> well, that was easy. All right. Well, now that's a cool looking little thing right here. Pretty small. Yeah. 
There's the power plug for comparison. Pretty cool. Looks like it's got a battery compartment. And you gotta be smarter than what you're working on. <clears throat> so, uh, listen, if I have to return this thing, don't, don't, just don't say anything about it, okay? Uh, all right. Floor is pretty dusty. <laughs> all right, so there's the back, the battery cover. And there's inside. Did I tell you this thing connects with Bluetooth to my tablet? It's pretty cool. Oh, there's the battery. Two little tabs back here. There we go. So what do you think? You think <laughs> you think it's gonna you think it's gonna light oops. Think it's gonna light up? I can't look. Somebody tell me. Let me sneak up on it. Yes! It has power! Hey, it's already attached to something on the Bluetooth. And let's see. Pairing the sensor. Hold the power button to turn on the sensor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I drive a thousand miles a week at work and I got this thing to uh, allow me to use my iPad instead of my Android tablet while I'm working. Okay, no more BS. I already had this thing paired to my iPad. So, what can I tell you about it? It woke ways up. <laughs> I mean, it really did. It, um, tracks really fast there's not any lags actually I didn't see any lags uh, while running ways I did see one oddity and when using the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug it's like the battery ran down and wouldn't charge I haven't looked at that I'll dig into that and see what's up and I will post back here <clears throat> and let you know what I found. Uh, this little charger here worked fine. So the thing locks up really tight on the, on the Bluetooth. And as far as satellite signals, Waze was updating details that I'd never seen before. And I don't know why, other than it was just a, a more accurate, uh, a tighter ring of accuracy. Waze was doing, or Google was doing less and less estimating and more tracking directly with this thing. And I drive in the mountains, and I drive highway, and I drive back roads. Um, and this thing, I mean, it, it tracked all day. It never, ever dropped out until it ran out of power because of this thing. Uh, never dropped out the uh, GPS signal. It was just really tight, and um, after using it, uh, let's see, I don't know how many miles I drove today, 150, 60 miles, something like that. And this thing never dropped out. And with my iPad, this thing worked great. Random ways. Pretty cool, huh? That's all I got on it. Um, this was meant to be a uh, unboxing and first look, and I wanted to share it with you guys. This is not the kind of stuff that I typically do here, if you've seen my, my videos. But, uh, you know, I thought someone may be interested in it. I may uh, touch up the video in a, in a few weeks, and, uh, or maybe post an addendum to it, or post some more comments. So uh, just check back, and I'll keep, you, I'll keep you up to speed on this thing. Uh, I didn't mention the price. It sells for right at 100 bucks. <clears throat> There's a couple different packaging versions. One doesn't have a power cord. Maybe it just comes with this. I don't know, with the USB. 
Uh, maybe it doesn't include this, <laughs> which would have been okay with me <laughs> since this has only lasted a few hours. I can't say that. I need to check it out. I have not checked it out yet. There's my unboxing of the Garmin Glow GPS and GLONASS Global Positioning System receiver. That's all I got. Hey, thanks for watching Patty G DIY. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this little video on this little GPS, Bluetooth GPS GLONASS system receiver. And I've got something else in the car that I'm going to unbox and assemble for you guys. Hey, listen, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to share it with your friends, you can do that. And if you'd like to subscribe to Patty G DIY and keep up with all that's going on here, that'd be awesome too. Listen, thanks for watching. God bless. And we'll see you later.